Hey guys, welcome back to another Battle of the Foundations. Well, today I'm trying out a few products from JCAP Beauty. So with our foundation today, we're using the Aquasurance Compact Powder Foundation. And then I'm also going to be trying out their mattifying pore filling primer. So if you want to see how this worked out for me, just keep watching. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please just take a moment to hit the subscribe button along with the bell notification. So again, if you want to see how this product worked out, just keep watching. All right, guys, again, we are doing a battle of the foundations, and I'm using the JCAT Beauty Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. Now, you may have seen Tati use this in one of her foundations. It's kind of funny because I placed my order the day before she actually came out with her video, so these are totally unrelated to each other. Um, I actually got a few of their products. Another one I'm going to be using today in this video is their uh, Mattifying Face Primer. So this one's supposed to be pore minimizing. They also have a hydrating one, um, which I did not get. Probably should have got both, but that's okay. We'll go with this one today. So as always, um, I have gone in and I have moisturized and serumed. I have not primed though because I'm going to use this. So let's start there. Comes in a tube like so, and you get 0 0.68 fluid ounces. Uh, it's supposed to be oil free. It says mattifies and perfects your skin, instantly minimizes the pores and fine lines. Ooh, fine lines too. I like that. Lightweight, non greasy feeling, and does not clog your pores. Directions apply to clean skin prior to makeup application. Use a small amount and blend evenly over the face for a smooth and flawless finish. So let's get some of this out. A little squeeze tube. Oh, it's clear. I don't know why I expected it to be white or something. So I'm going to. It's weird. It says it's oil free, but it sure feels oily. If you're supposed to pat it in or rub it in. A little bit more. It leaves a very slick feeling to your skin. Okay, I take it back. It doesn't feel oily. It just feels like it's soft. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put it. It's just soft and everything glides. So let's see how the makeup goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye color correcting and I will be right back. All right, I am back and I have done all of my concealing because this is a powder foundation. I don't think I mentioned that to you. Um, so with the powder, you wanna make sure that you go in and apply all of your concealers that you're gonna put on beforehand because you can't go in afterwards and put a liquid on top of the powder. So this is what the compact looks like. When you open it up, you do have a mirror inside which I'm not going to bother taking the little film off there now. Um, I got the color natural. It comes in eight shades and runs $13.99. Um, they do have a very nice um, image. I'll put it right up here that has all of the different shades. So you can look on both dark and light skin. And then underneath the powder here, there's the compartment for the sponge. Now you can apply this wet or dry. They say um, dry, you probably get a medium coverage. Wet, you will go ahead and get a full coverage. So I'm gonna start off with it just dry. I do have a little bowl of water here, so we will try it wet. And I'm gonna go ahead and use their little sponge. They say just use little patting motions. Wow, it's doing pretty darn good. Another video that I did um, using powder foundation that I just absolutely love, and that's the La Prairie foundation. I'll go ahead and leave a card up here if you want to go watch that one. But that one is uh, quite a chunk of money. 
I'm able to find it for like $63, I think. So $13.99 is pretty darn good. You know, I really like the coverage just with it being a powder. It's not covering everything, but I think it did a really good job of just kind of evening up. So let's go ahead and dip this in water. Get it wet. And see what it does when we apply it with a wet sponge. Okay, I'm going to use the other side of it just so we can see what it looks like. Ooh, wow. That definitely is giving more coverage that way. This is actually a little bit too dark for me. But I'll make it work somehow. Brings down my neck a little more. Okay, sponge has already dried out, so let me dampen it again. And I'm going to take a couple quick photos of my skin on both sides, and I'll insert them since I never get a good picture with my camera here. So hold tight, and I'll insert those. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just dampen this again, and I'm going to do my whole face with this sponge damp because I like the coverage better that way. Plus, I will be lopsided for the rest of the day. So, is it cooling off for anybody anywhere out there? It's the craziest summer. We still haven't had any rain, and today we're supposed to be 97. And I think that's going to tie our record for having the number of days into the 90s that we've ever had in Oregon. I think guys, this is so quick and easy to put on. What I like is I'm not going to have to go in with any powders on top of this. I just wish I got the right shade. Okay, time for a close-up look, and I'm going to see how it looks in the mirror. It looks very pretty. I wish it wasn't this dark. Really wish it wasn't this dark. But hopefully I can go in and kind of lighten it up somehow, some way. All right, let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I am almost done with my makeup. The only thing I haven't done was use some setting spray. I thought that this was a setting spray from them, but this is actually a primer spray, so I'm going to use it just a little bit and see if it does help to at least set the makeup. I'll go in on top of that with my Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, but let's give this a try. It came in two scents. I got the rose, but they also have a jasmine, and it was $6.99, I believe. I'll leave the price, of course, down here. This is supposed to be hydrating and long-lasting. So let's get the pump off. I'll spray it a little bit, see if we get that started. Oh, holy rose scent. <sighs> you guys, I hope you like the scent of roses because that is strong. Wow. Oh, it's not going away either. Okay, if you don't care for floral scents at all, you probably won't like this. Let me see. It's bad. It's really strong. Let me use my Urban Decay. Let it do its thing. A lot of the products on my face today are J-Cat Beauty. Okay. I still smell rose, but maybe that's because I sprayed a little bit in the room too. And my earrings are noisy. Sorry! I just won't move now. How's that? Okay. So this is the finished look. Um, I like that. I like that foundation. I'm going to pick up a lighter shade than the natural. Um, I 
will tell you I did cheat a little bit. I went in with my Weekly Lux. This is their diamond powder. Um, I did that because this is a much lighter shade and it's just a pressed powder and I just went into the perimeter of my face to kind of lighten that all up a little bit. So that helped a lot. So definitely if I get a lighter color, I'm going to like that a lot. I just like how quick and easy it is. It's really looking good on my face. Where'd my mirror go? Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, there's. It, I see my normal creases that I have, they're not emphasized anymore because there's no product to settle in there. So this is how my skin would look whether I had foundation on or not. So I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I think it's just a great product. It's great that you can just throw it in your purse as well and take it along with you during the day. So if you do need to touch up anything, maybe with the hot heat, you tend to sweat off some of your makeup, you could just reapply it really quickly. So I like that idea an awful lot as well. So I think that's going to wrap everything up. I will leave links down below for all of the products that I have on my face in case you are wondering. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I upload videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and once in a while I throw in a Weird Wish Wednesday. So you want to make sure you check all those videos out. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. So until next time, you guys, I love you, and bye-bye.